Hi everyone. In today's class, we are going to discuss about thermodynamics. In this, let us see first about introduction of thermodynamics. The term thermos means heat or temperature. Dynamics means flow. A matter must possess both potential energy as well as kinetic energy. This kinetic energy because of motion of molecules, ions and electrons. Potential energy because by virtue of its position Thermos means heat or temperature. Dynamics implies flow. A matter. Any matter, it possesses potential energy as well as kinetic energy. Kinetic energy because of motion of molecules, ions and electrons and potential energy by virtue of its uh, uh, position. And uh, let us come into the definition of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics means study of flow of heat or any other form of energy into or out of a system as it undergoes physical or chemical transformation. Thermodynamics is defined as a study of flow of heat or any other form of energy into or outside out of a system as it undergoes physical or chemical transformation. Let us discuss about applications of thermodynamics. Applications. First one, partitioning. Partitioning of solute between immiscible solvents and its solubility of drugs. Missilization and drug receptor interactions. Applications of thermodynamics are partitioning of solute between immiscible solvents, solubility of drugs, missilization and drug receptor interactions. Next one is limitations of thermodynamics. Limitations of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is applicable only to macroscopic properties. Microscopic is nothing but bulk properties. It explains only about microscopic properties. It does not discuss about, uh, it does not tell about the microscopic properties. <coughs> it does not tell about the microscopic properties. Means microscopic properties is nothing but, uh, uh, it does not account for individual atoms, ions or molecules. It does not explain anything about individual atoms, ions, molecules. 
it only explains about the macroscopic properties nothing but a bulk properties of a system can uh, is explained in thermodynamics that is the first limitation second one is it does not consider time as a factor it does not consider about the time as a factor means it does not tell anything about uh, rate of physical change or chemical reaction it does not tell anything about the rate of physical change or chemical reaction it considers only initial and final states of a system it does not tells about time as a factor means uh, it, it does not uh, consider about the rate of physical changes or chemical reactions it considers only initial and final states of a system these are the two limitations of thermodynamics thank you please like share subscribe my channel